Hey guys, Weed Grown Indoors tuning in. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the new Spider Farmer SF1000 versus the Mars Hydro TS1000. They are both great lights. I highly recommend both. It all depends on your budget and your build quality style, I guess. The Samsung has a quite uh, better build quality. It's nice thin. As you can see here, thin heat sink. Doesn't really require much heat sink work because it doesn't get very hot. It's got a mean well driver. The only con is it's got a short cord so it's not detachable. You've got your dimmer, daisy chain, all of that fancy stuff. The Mars Hydro runs a bit hotter. It's at 150 watts. As you can see, it doesn't have the dimmer box. It's got a dimmer knob on top. The new one that came out in 2020 has a dimmer box. So don't uh, just disregard that. The build quality of both is pretty good. The diodes are much different though. Diodes on the Spider Farmer are Samsung 301Bs. Those are very, very good diodes. The ones on the Mars are Epistar. They're basically second best in the market compared to these. And now on to the actual specs. As you can see here. We got more efficiency and a higher gram per wattage with the Spider Farmer. It costs slightly more and it runs slightly less watts. It's all about what you want, really. They're both great lights. I highly recommend them both. These tests were done by CocoForCannabis.com. You can see here there's a Spider Farmer car map, a TS1000 car. These are both in a 2x2 test area, one being 18 inches above the canopy and then one 12 inches above the canopy. Which one do you think is better? I'm not quite sure, but maybe I'll find out. I'm going to be doing a grow with both of these lights, so stay tuned, thanks for tuning in, and happy growing everybody.